are playing some Civilization Beyond Earth. This game is a ton of fun. Uh, I'm on turn 166 as the Protectorate. Uh, these are all my quests and victories and good stuff. Uh, but here we are. Uh, you can see the scores over there. I am top because uh, I'm a boss. No, it's because I'm playing on one of the easiest difficulties. Um, uh, I do have a huge amount of guys down here uh, because of the the Slavic Federation or whatever these guys are called, Slavic something. Uh, this was actually their city and they actually gave it to me for peace because they started picking on these guys up here whom I am friendly with. So uh, they asked me to come to a war and I did. And they were so scared. They're like, okay, 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 okay. We'll give you this city here. Just be peaceful with us, which is a really bad decision because it's really close to their capital. So now I have a huge force over here waiting for, uh, waiting for them to piss, piss me off again. Uh, my capital up here is Seoul because I changed the name because I'm Soulton and Seoul sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, we're not doing too bad. Plus 24 uh, in energy, which is your gold. Uh, health's actually doing pretty well. Uh, surprising. I actually had to go crazy amount into uh, uh, health to actually keep all these cities up because health deteriorates really quick. Uh, I do have the arc over here. Uh, I think this is the African Union down here. So uh, I'm actually going to expand about right, right here I think so I can get both these Xenomasses. I am going Harmony because I did start off with a lot of Xenomass. Uh, and then there's some floatstone here. So if I put a city here, I'll actually get the floatstones in my radius and the xenomass in my radius. Uh, I don't know exactly what's down here, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have all that in my radius, so I'm cool with it. The colonist is working its way down now. So, yeah. It's pretty much a ton of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and hit end turn here. Got nothing else to do this turn. I got some xenomass over here that I want. Uh, I did buy this uh, plot over here just to make sure that uh, these guys don't get it. Even though it wouldn't be really even be worth putting a city down here. Because uh, these tiles are terrible. Alright, let's choose some production. Uh, it's Syria. Syria? Syria? I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, Institute plus 5% science. Uh, food and energy from tundras. These are all fungals. Uh, forest grasslands. I don't think I have any tundras around here, so that's not too too worth it. Uh, I'll just on a fence. That's not worth it because the friendlies are, or the aliens are friendly to me. The friendlians, the friendlians. <laughs> the aliens are friendly to me because I got this uh, nest in my territory as fast as I could. Uh, I haven't actually destroyed it yet and built Xenomass on it yet, but that's a, that's a lot of Xenomass. Uh, so all the aliens on the planet are friendly to me, uh, and we will be good to go. Ooh, the cloning plant might actually be worth it. it. Gives me health. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build that. We got production in Asteria here, uh, which all their water tiles are boosted because of one of the buildings that I built. I forget the name of it. I don't remember how to see it. Whatever. Okay, so launch complex isn't going to do us much good because I don't have a lot of satellites. Ultrasonic fence isn't going to do us much good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, do we want to boost the city or culture? Culture might actually be good. Um, actually, energy. I'm a little low on energy, so we're going to go ahead and do that for a couple turns here. Um, I think I have another city that's doing that too, yeah. Let's see the production over here, yeah. See, none of these are really worth it, so we're just gonna keep it on that. Uh, I have some more Xenomass up there. Soul's looking pretty good. Uh, we can develop a virtue here. I am going prosperity and knowledge in some industry, but not a lot. Uh, knowledge is good for culture and uh, science, obviously. So, earn extra energy equal to 30% of the culture you generate? Uh, yes please. So, there we go. Whoa. That helps. Um, also, turning that city into industrial also helps a lot too. So, let's go ahead and skip to the next turn. We'll see what the, uh, 
the Slavic stew down there. Uh, I am friendly with. No village was ever ruined by trade. I'm gonna have a problem with them soon because I'm gonna build a city like right next to them uh, So I know in the future they're gonna they're gonna be pretty ticked off at me Which is fine. It's fine Trade vessel is done uh, Let's go with Let's see these two are exactly the same um, We're gonna go with we're gonna go with that guy She's production. I am starting to expand on this other continent over here. So uh, this is one of my actually one of my first cities I put over here. It's got floatstone next to it. It's got Reslin. And it's got Xenomass. Not a ton of Xenomass, but still Xenomass. Uh, we probably need a farm lab soon. Um, old Earth Relic might be good. Start expanding a little faster. Yeah, we'll do Old Earth Relic. All right, I do have these harmony troops here. Uh, these are brawlers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool looking guys. Actually, most of the most of the three affinities actually look pretty cool. So I just happen to go harmony because I did start next to a bunch of Xenomass. As Adam Smith said, trade is the lifeblood of nations. Ah, these guys are at negative 16 energy per turn. They're only getting 48 science per turn. Now, those guys are at the low end of the totem pole down there. It's good for me. They're my neighbor, so. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with them sucking. Um, I do maybe want to take off the uh, hex grid. Oh, they finally kicked out my explorer. He's been sitting in their territory all game, and I haven't been able to get him out. Um, yeah, we'll just send you up here. Choose production. Man, yeah, he can build a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do... Actually, I do need a worker down here. So I think a worker would probably be best down there as Adam Smith said trade is the lifeblood of nations uh, let's see if I can get some energy from them uh, let's go with uh, 50 Okay. Let's see if they'll take no it. No offense, but no. Okay. Well, no good then because uh, I don't need that with you. Low end of the totem pole there. Arc. It frustrates me that people are still surprised when this new planet reacts violently to the presence of an off world species with its own agenda. So we got a harm. Harmony, more Harmony Affinity, and a Xeno Titan that we can build when we hit uh, level 12 in Harmony, which is not going to be anytime soon. If we don't uh, focus that's fine. on living on this world right now with the people that are here, then we are guilty of slothful spirits and passive wills. Okay, so we reached level 8 in Harmony. We were level 6, so that's two levels, not bad. Four free Xeno Mass, that's awesome. And new upgrades for units. Um, it should pop up with the upgrades. Yeah, there it is. Uh, let's see. Choose production. Uh, Institute might be good. Uh, digester, just to get the pop going a little bit faster. Uh, we did hit a huge low uh, health level there. Uh, I think di mm. Institute, I think, would probably be better than a digester. Let's see what we got here. Recycler for some production. I don't really need to build the. Ooh. Yeah, water refinery would be good here. It'd be really good. Okay, let's build a clinic and upgrade some units. Select a perk. Uh, what do we got? 
40% when not next to any friendly unit, or pillaging costs no movement and gives plus 20 HP heal when not embarked. Hmm. So you can have him as like a lone wolf. So he's a flanker lone wolf. Or pillaging costs no movement and gives tw uh, plus 20 HP heal when not embarked. Hmm, it's tough. Uh, I think we'll go with this one. Alright, and we got the striker from the gunner we can build. Uh, 25 heal after killing an enemy unit. Or plus 30 percent with attacking fortified units. Uh, I think we'll go with this one. Sweet. And we can pick new research. Let the research web, which is a new feature uh, since Civ 5. Uh, we actually just got alien evolution over here. Um, alien ethics, more culture, Xeno Sanctuary gives you culture, costs one Xeno mass, adds one point per turn to Transcendence Victory Progress, uh, that's not bad. And this gives you culture, but it costs geothermal, which I haven't even researched geothermal yet. Uh, what else can we get? Alien technology requires three petroleum, requires one xenomass. It's a condenser and it adds miasma. What do we got up here? Overall unit plus one energy on tiles you own. Any city in range also receives plus 20% energy overall. Solar collector. I think we'll go with that. Get us some more energy. Alright, workers done building a mine here. Um, I think what we will do. Uh, all these tiles aren't really worth. Oh, this tile's probably worth it building on, but these two tiles aren't really worth it that much. Well, let's go to the three tile. Uh, I do have a few units down here. I have a Viper and a Striker uh, that just got upgraded. They do look pretty cool. Um, I had these guys down here just in case, uh, just for safety. And then I have these guys over here because I know that uh, the Slavic Federation doesn't like me too much, so we'll go ahead and uh, pick it up. Uh, I am going to need more health, so in these new cities I'm going to have to build a lot of health buildings. Just because of all the cities that I'm building. Negotiate passage through my territory and they gain a favor and I offer energy and energy per turn and open borders. For 25 to <sighs> get out of here. Get out of here with that nonsense. So he just built on the fruit. Uh, there's not really any many, many more tiles over here. Yeah, there's one up there, but that's a little far. Um, I might need to help this city out. This city's pretty awful. Uh, yeah, I think I'll help this city out. I'm gonna send him down here. Of course, there's aliens in the way, so you can't get down there just yet, so I'll have to help them out. All right, so the worker's done. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the Xeno Mask, because you can get some pretty cool stuff uh, after you build that Xeno Mask. All right, that's done. Here's a three-er. Oh, I was sending him there. Uh, I'm going to send this guy. I think after that's done, there's not much more I can do over here. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna make him build a, uh... I'm gonna lose the production on this, but I'm gonna gain one food and three energy. Uh, I think we'll just build that on this tile. So you choose production here. Uh, smelter gives us four health. This gives us production, science, and health. 
Uh, it needs culture. Oh my gosh, does it need culture? Okay, so we're gonna build culture. Uh, what do we got here? It needs everything. Science more than anything else. Uh, plus three science. Actually, the nursery is pretty good, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hit next turn up in here. Alright, so that city is finally where I need it to be. We're going to build an outpost. Uh, our health is going to take another hit. Uh, so, worst comes to worst, what I can do is actually purchase that guy here. That'll give us a nice little boost to health. Um, can actually probably do the same thing here. So there we go. Took a lot of money, but uh, we got it back down to plus eight health, and we're doing all right. Oh, those two were at war for a little while. Lodi and uh, uh, the African Union and the the Ark were at war for a little bit. Um, it looks like they made peace. They're actually relatively close in score. Right here looks amazing, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see what we can do. Plus one orbital coverage from repair facilities, or plus 5% production from military units from repair facilities. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna do that. Unit needs orders. Let's see, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know why there's so many aliens in this area. But I'm gonna try and get him down here. Uh, what you need is orders a trade convoy. Go ahead and do. Do growth rate for one of those cities. So we'll go right here. Is that where you were going? That's where you were going. Okay. We'll just put you there then. Next turn. The music in this game is awesome. Of course, that's every Civ game. They do a really good job with the music, uh, making it feel epic. Your habit of climbing every bit of land you've spotted has not got a notice. I advise you to discontinue this. I knew I was going to have a problem with them when I settled there. Um. I'll just say my apologies. Oh, I can't. I mean, I can't really settle next to him anywhere else. His city cannot. His city's maxed reef, so he can't get these these resources right here. So those are mine for the taking. Okay, let's build Xenomass well. And you just build a generator. You build. Generator. Come to this towel. Let's see, that's done. What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? I think I build a generator here too. Might as well. All right. Well. These aliens need to move. All right. So we got a digester. Got a recycler for food and production. Uh, it also give me plus one production on station trade routes as well. I think we're gonna go ahead and do. You know what, I might as well do a worker. Nah, I won't do a worker. Let's do a. Uh, let's do a recycler. That thing needs to be done, that thing needs to be done, and I think it can reach that. Yeah, one, two, yep, sure can. All right, excellent. We got an explorer up here. Uh, let's see, let's move him. Over here, I, see, I wanna see if Ark actually expanded over there. I don't think they did, so I think we'll be all right.
I went to depart this world. I stood at the threshold. I heard. Do not leave. We need you. I returned. By compassion moved. Alright, so we finished the wonder, our resurrection device. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, this is my main city. It doesn't have much to build. Obviously. Um, I do need to get that Firax set up and running, but that's a different technology. For a different day. Uh, he's got all his trade routes occupadoed, so uh, let's see. Let's see. I know you don't. Yeah, you got zero out of two. Zero out of zero. So this guy can use... No, that's zero out of zero. Okay, well I need to get their trade depots up and running. You're gonna be building. Mm, I don't know if I want to try and swipe that. See, that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you got plus one of that. Uh, might be worth expanding down here just for the frag site and the xenomass. And it's on a river, so these towels aren't that bad. Of course, you have this stupid canyon there, so that kind of ruins the fun. Uh, okay, so choose production at Seoul. We're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, yeah, I think industrial development's fine. It's only doing 15 culture. Wow. Uh, I don't need that much of culture. I do need more money since I spent it all on health. So he's here. We're gonna do a. Mm, bio well might actually be better. So we're gonna go ahead and do a bio well there. Uh, here we can do. We're gonna do a generator on that one. So they're kind of moving out of my way, sorta. But all in all, not doing too bad. Uh, the only gripe I have about this game is there is a bug uh, with certain monitors. People said it's higher refresh rate than 60 hertz monitors, but I have a 60 hertz monitor and I have the bug, uh, so that's obviously not true. Uh, now Fraxis like has come sun, out. I shine upon my disciples, like the flowers, they turn to me and blossom. Uh, Fraxis has come out and said that they are fixing it or working on it or something to that effect. So hopefully it'll be fixed soon. But I have to play the game in windowed mode. I can't play it in. Uh, uh, the full screen, if I want to play it in full screen, I can't play it in 1080p. I have to play it at a lower resolution. So that's a little annoying, but uh, hopefully that'll be ironed out rather quickly. So. All right, so photo systems. I just researched. I do have Harmony Affinity Boost, um, Solar Collector, which is fantastic, and plus one fruit from plantation improvements. The day is coming when the Anthropocene Advent will be viewed as the inflection point for a new rate of evolution on this planet. All right, level nine harmony or yep, harmony reached. Uh, Eleven, I can call a worm strike operation that can be borne by covert agents. That's pretty much awesome. Uh, I do have to get the actual um, shoot. Yeah, let's get a solar collector. Uh, I do actually have to get the technology to be able to build that, but it's gonna be sweet when I can. Uh, Sabda, Sabda, Sabda. You are in a terrible location. Um, not terrible, but it's not great. <laughs> One, two. Why have I not gotten that yet? Whatever. Um, you don't even have it. Oh my gosh. I am so bad at Civ games. <laughs> uh, 
I haven't even bought the trade depot on that thing yet. Oh my goodness. That was like one of my third or fourth cities. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do a trade depot here too. Let's see, what do we get here? We get Rock Top. Rock Topus? Rock Topus? Rock Topus. Binary Engineer Loving Orbital Unit. I can move between orbital deployments and provide limited orbital coverage around its location. Interesting. Micro bail mine. Production plus 3 and 10%. That's pretty darn good. What do we get here? Cognition. Firaxite. And then we get an academy. Hmm, choices, choices, choices. I haven't gotten community. Uh, what's down here? Science and culture. Communication. Culture, culture, and health. That is really good. And that won't take me very long to get. What do we got down here? Exotic matter. Field reactor. Two distrator specialists and energy. Might be worth it going straight down to there. What's over here? Xeno cab. Culture. I think I already looked at that one actually. Got uh, anvil. What are we looking at? Planet Carver, that's pretty sweet. Can you actually hit tissue engineering first? Um, that only take five turns to give us a nice little harmony affinity there. Unit needs order. Just keep looking. Just keep on looking. Oh, oh we're almost there. We're almost there, trade convoy. Let's do 50% growth rate on our outposts. Unit needs orders. Let's do 50% there. Let's go next. So we're at 933, almost hit that thousand point mark. That's pretty much awesome. Uh, we're almost 500 points ahead of the second place guy, which is uh, Slavic Federation. Okay, production. Uh, what did we just build here? Oh, it's a solar collector. So where do you have the solar collector? Hmm. See, so we can make this city a super defensive city, but I don't really need to right now. I'm not really at war with anybody. I think we're actually just gonna go ahead and let's see if we burn melee units. So mobility, range unit. Piper Striker Brawler. Let's, let's do. Let's do that guy. Alright. Let's do Solar Collector on YouTube. Now that all the water tiles have been increased, hopefully the city will start growing a little bit better. A little bit better, a little bit faster. We should be good. Finally made it to that tile. <laughs> Let's do some uh, growth rate. I mean, look at this algae, 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 and then you got coral there. Of course, the anchor's right here. So, 
took over one of those. Unit needs orders. Ready to launch. Let's throw you... Right here. I think would be perfect. 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 Alright, next turn. Okay, so I'll get one food. Just build a farm there, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Production, um, did I build a worker? I thought I did. We are going to go ahead and do some uh, culture over there. Build a mine on that bad boy. I gotta do the same thing over here, man. This guy really needs some workers. Uh, this is a really good spot. There's a lot of three tiles. And then you've got the fruit here. Yeah, lots of three tiles. And that's a hill too, isn't it? Yep, it's a hill and it's part of the river. That's a really good tile. <laughs> All right, next turn. I really kind of want to push the African Union out of here without pissing them off too much. Uh, I do need to probably get some units down there just in case. Uh, we're going to put you right. So we can build, hmm. Let's build a striker over there. Start getting some military units out. Plus eight. It's pretty darn good, so we're gonna do that. Plus eight is really good, we're gonna do that. Plus seven from Soul's not too bad. Plus seven here is not too bad. Alright. We're now in the negative health, so we need to pick that back up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do farm lab. We're gonna do um, clinic here. We're gonna do a clinic there. And this is the problem with expanding like that so fast, you actually lose a lot of health rather quickly. So you kinda wanna develop this city before you expand to another one. Um, but I kinda wanted to rush it here. Whoa, one, two, three, four. How do you get four? Not cool, bro. All right, well, that just means that I gotta purchase all that land, get you the F off of it, so you can't have it. All right, there. Bummer, okay, well, if you wanna play that way, buddy, it's fine. But at least I got my Xenomath, so it's fine. Your village was ever ruined by trade. 
I would like to negotiate a passage through your territory. Uh, your offer is open borders and foreigners to return? <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Oh. Oh, they're starting to build up. They're a little ticked off at me. I need to get some troops down here. All right. So let's um, let's pull some of these troops right on over there. Right on over there. And right on over there. All right, and then we're gonna have to start massing up some troops over here. All right, uh, these guys' towels are pretty good. I'm gonna have to probably build a worker here, so let's do that. Oops, worker. Production here. Let's build a worker. Let's get those workers up and running. All right, hit that thousand mark. Awesome. That's fine. They're all the way on the other side of the map, so I don't really care. If they have open borders with me, it doesn't really bother me too much. So they haven't expanded over there yet. Okay. Going to... Do the same thing to this Xenomass, because look look what happens when you do that to Xenomass. Gives you a lot of stuff. Um, here. I think Farm Lab will be alright. Do need that health to go back up, so we'll go ahead and do the Farm Lab. So you try to buy all this stuff before I can get to it. Okay. That was actually pretty smart on his part. I didn't like it, but that was pretty smart on his part. Natural selection is an effective process for organic optimization, but is too slow to be truly useful. Alright, so harmony and healing for all units. So now we're at level 10. Almost level 11. Okay, so this gives plus one energy from Xenomass, which is really good. What are we lacking on? Culture? I don't really have any culture buildings left, so... Actually, water refinery would be really good here, too. We'll do that one first, however. Alright, so we got tissue engineering. Uh, robotics is gonna take like no time at all. Air unit, ooh. Okay, air unit, that would help a lot actually. We can go straight down to swarm robotics with him. Friendly terrifies a free surveillance weapon. Let's just build. Yeah, we're doing that. Alright. So that'll be our next two technologies. We can get a flyer. Okay. Uh, auto pan. We can buy it. We can build a fracite mine, which is really good. And then a manufactory. Alright, excellent. Alright, that's built. I don't know, really know what else to do over here, so we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh... Actually, down here is actually probably a really good idea. Build up the uh, Reslin for the science. We saw negative three health. That'll be fixed rather quickly, though. So, I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna go ahead and get our next virtue. All right, so that's done.
Might as well start getting him ready to do the Phyraxite, because it'll be done next turn. So we'll go ahead and throw him there. Plus eight production from Pran or Harsha. I think we're gonna do Harsha. Darn craters. Darn craters are in the way. All right, choose production on Prawn. We are going to do a actually up to zero health. So we're going to go ahead and do a um, a trade Tebow here. All right, what are we going to get now? We can do plus seven health. That land base trade you. Routes from foreign cities. Let's see, we need three more to get our free virtue explore units. What do we got here? Plus one stockpiled energy amount every turn up to 100 energy. Plus 25% production towards the orbital units. 0.5 house for every trade unit under your command. Trade routes with stations grant plus six energy per tier. 100% more yields from trade routes. We're gonna go ahead and do plus seven health. And a couple more for plus one health in every city. Alright, excellent. So now we're at plus seven. Fixed! And now we can start building more cities whenever we will. Oh my goodness. There's an aircraft stationed over there. These that's a pretty good tile. Got some ocean down there. My military units are on the way. Be getting there just to counteract their military presence. Just to be safe. Robots do not complain. All right, robotics is done, so now we can do the Fraxite mine. So that guy's not done yet. I don't know where to put this guy. Let's bring you up here, actually. Start working on that city. So you're done, too. Let's bring you... right there actually strikers done here we're gonna bring you here Let's see production plus 20 percent health that's really good so your ship just say trade routes production plus two. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I need to build um, a trade vessel with this guy. Choose production here. Do we already do the uh, trade here? Nope, okay, we're gonna build trade depot. There's a lot of Fraxite up here. A lot of Fraxite. Alright. Worker's done, we're gonna go straight to the Xenomass, obviously. I might actually go n No, there's no point in going north. I might actually swing him back this way and go south from here, just to see what's down there. Okay, so this thing's done. 
Go Javid. Probably gonna need another trade vessel. Are you done with trade vessels? I guess you might be. Alright, well let's give you some culture. Let's give you some culture. Let's give you some culture. You're done, so we're gonna swing you over here to this frac site. Build a pad out there. And we are rolling. We are rolling. All right, I think I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, and then uh, we'll probably just pick it up, depending on what this video does. Um, I do really like this game. Uh, it's very much Civ Five with a lot of little differences that make it feel different. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty fun little game. Uh, I would pick it up if I were you. I'd give it a, a two thumbs up. <laughs> and alrighty guys hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time